Hey guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to EU4. We are forming the Roman Empire soon. Soon, soon, soon. I am confident it's going to be soon. Right now, we are just, uh, you know, working on getting everybody out of the over here, beat up on. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they really have much of a chance here. This is defensive for us, so it's like, you can reinforce if you want. But uh, yeah, probably not in your best interest right here. See? Look at this. Even with them dogpiling, we're still just melting them like butter, man. Like absolute butter. We won that. We still won that. I'm going to scorch some provinces over here and just continually just dunk on them. The main things that I want in this war are going to be here, 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 here. That's what I want. All of Gaul. And uh, that's that's going to be the main gist of what we're looking for in this war. So, so let's make sure that uh, if uh, Portugal wants to get frisky, that we'll let them happen. We'll let it happen. Let's actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's just do it right now. Let's just jump on them. Should be a pretty easy wipe. Yeah, there you go. So let's come over here and siege that back for them and just kind of chilling. I'm not really too, uh, you know, scared about anything. We're just kind of get a couple more generals as well. That was really bad. Hello. Hello, goodbye. You are now gone. You, you're fired. You are the weakest link. Um, so I don't know where you guys are doing. Oh yeah, Russia. Oh my gosh. The unit spam sunk the Portuguese flagship. Very, very good. Yes, boys. F heal up. Looks like we actually lost a couple of ships as well. Let's have our ships come over here. They're attacking me. Uh, probably not smart. There we go. Even got the, uh, the repair tick there. Let's build up some more heavies there. And to have you guys hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean once you're repaired up. Well, I guess right now is fine as well. Those guys are cruising for a bruising over here. Looks like we're going to have to beat up on these British stacks. This British stack, that is. Good thing you guys beat my vassal up. It's a shame that it literally will do nothing for you. There we go. Get these guys out of there. Yeah, not going too well for them. I've lost 70,000. Commonwealth has lost 120. Uh, oh my goodness. Russia has almost a half a million units in the field right now. That is nutty. Literally nutty. So what I'm going to do here is come on over here and hopefully get a commandant. That's that's my goal here. Let's also make sure we get these guys out of here. Matter of fact, I... Um, I suppose this is fine. This is Scorch, so they won't be able to reinforce. Same thing here. Same thing here. The more of their men that they lose, the less they're uh, going to be feeling enthusiastic to be in this war in the first place. So just uh, keep on wiping out as many of their little stacks as I possibly can. That'll put everybody here on low enthusiasm, which is good for us. Uh, let's get over here to Steiermark or Unterkarten, or however that's pronounced. And... Uh, Make sure that we are full occupying these guys. I don't know how in the hell this siege has been going on for over a year. Look at this. What defensive mentality plus 200? What? Is there a reason why this siege ticks are 102 days? Somebody's trolling me. Let's barrage that so we can take it. The Enlightenment ends in revolution. In the dawn of the revolution, the Enlightenment has come to an end. For a century and more... For a century and more, the people of Europe have been studying the world to divine its future, and that ending is eternal change. Never again will the world be shackled by the way things are and always have been. For now, everyone has to uh, has seen that things can be different. We have seen the new world to arms. Okay, so does that mean that uh, the revolution has spawned then? It has. It spawned in Afghanistan, apparently. All right. Oh, wow. Looks like it's actually it spawned over here in Malacca. Interesting. Well, looks like we can probably just ignore that because uh, it's never coming to us. Fine by me. Let's, uh, let's see here. Siege down as many men as possible. As many uh, different countries, that is. And uh, Bohemia will just come on in, or not Bohemia, um, the Commonwealth will just go in and uh, continually stack wipe themselves by the looks of it. We're losing provinces to uh, the MAMs over here. Anyways, Russia's gonna handle that, so that's fine. 
Looks like England has some men over here. Mildly hilarious. Now let's get these guys over here. And have you guys down here. So in this war, we'll be able to get that pretty easily, pretty soon even. Only downside is, is that it's going to put us at a truce with a lot of people around the HRE. The main ones that I really care about, though, is going to be... Um, uh, France. France is the one that I really want to make sure that I can get to war with at any time. Those are the... Continue to wipe everybody out. The more people that we just destroy, the more people, like, the more likely we're going to be, you know, people will just leave our coalition. Because they're like, um, yeah, last time I fought these dudes, we got literally clapped in every single way. Those fights right there were with no commandant as well. Pretty good. Pretty dang good. I'm going to wait, take that at the very last second here. Come on over here. Water's fine, boys. We're just destroying them. This is literally a no contest. There's just so many little stacks running around. Can't even comprehend it. Let's get these guys over here and um, full occupy um, Savoy. go commandant yes please upgrade to level five because we have mana or money need mana get these guys over here here we go that's the piece that i want now yeah this is going to cost a lot of extra to take other provinces so we'll have to attack those guys separately next time which is fine a little bit of extra choose and there we go Let's uh, convert it first. We have so many merchants, it's actually insane. Or missionaries, rather. Let's get over here to Dijonet. Pull you guys down here to like uh, Narbonne, or however it's pronounced. And uh, there we go. Our coalition just uh, literally got killed. Where were you when our coalition kill? Not too bad. Coalition bopping is one of my favorite pastimes. Uh, nope. You guys are all... Can all bugger off, as the British would say. Get these guys over here to Madrid. Let's actually get them all up to, like, a province where they're gonna have, like, less attrition. Barcelona. There we go. Not bad. Don't even have any unrest, so no need to do it. This black flagged army has been over here for a long time. I don't care. We are converting everybody. Everybody in this get converted. All right, so core that all up. So can we also add all these guys to the trade company again? It looks like I indeed can. So let's make sure that this is also getting that there. This stuff is all converted, correct? Converted in religion, it is. So let's add you as well. Same thing. There we go. I'll lose the trade efficiency. I don't mind that. We are uh, very much rich, and losing some trade efficiency means nothing to me. So this will probably be the last round of culture conversions that we're going to start before uh, forming the Roman Empire. Because if you convert the Roman Empire, if you form the Roman Empire while culture converting, you will actually convert them to Greek, not Roman, which uh, obviously we don't want to do. And that's actually all of the possible culture conversions we can do right now based on um, uh, years of separatism. So that's pretty good. Trading in tin has happened to us. Artillery cost. Very cool. So let's take a look at uh, how any of this is happening over here. Let's um, make sure we're building all of these buildings as well. Russia, yes, please. Russia, I think you need a higher force limit. And then um, same thing, just come in here and say, all right, you guys need a little more production efficiency, so let's go with it. 
I'll build them in all my own provinces as well. Oh wait, cathedral, what am I doing? I definitely clicked the wrong button there. Oh well. Oh well, no big deal. I can't be bothered to go back and fix it, so I'm just gonna get these guys all clicked up. Let's get my auto clicker loaded in as well. There we go, and right there. And that is a uh, shift Q, I think. There we go, so now I'm just sitting here. Let's take a sip of my coffee, of course. This will increase the income in my vassals' lands as well as my own to an extent, but mostly my vassals. And uh, I can't see their reforms, for their government reforms, but if they also took that strength in the industrial sector, uh, we will be able to, uh, you know, inherit better things from that because they will be producing more. So it's pretty good. Next one, let's go with um, nobody desire in same continent or artillery damage in the back row. I don't. Let's do that one so I can milk a little bit more from these guys, especially before we integrate them. Very good. Be able to take tech. Like, right on time. It's beautiful. Free stab? Well, I already have free max stab. So, uh... Hmm. That's unfortunate. Nothing really cheesy I can do here, because I'm already maxed on legitimacy, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Usually, if you get a free stab, there it uh, automates it so you can, um... Get, uh... Whatchamacallit? The stuff instead. The, um... Uh, admin points. So these guys have uh, some some claims, so I might as well push their claims, right? I don't care about Portugal. What are they going to do? Portugal was getting full occupied by rebels when I decided to attack them, so... Doesn't bother me any. Hello, Portugal. Goodbye, Portugal. These guys over here and occupy them. Let's we'll separate piece them. Doesn't bother me. Having them in a separate piece is actually good because we're going to end up needing to, uh, you know, annex him in a different war. So once we get him integrated, it's going to be really, really good for us. Because you need to have all of Iberia for uh, this, the, the whatchamacallit, the land, the uh, Roman Empire. So I could actually get him to transfer trade to me. But I think I will actually white piece him. For a nice short truce, that way I can attack him on my terms. Apparently Galicia is independent? Really? Okay. English dot is over here. Let's have these guys with our four siege head on over to Stockholm. Because once we get his capital, we'll be able to get a decent discount to... Um, or a decent bo boost to our war score, rather. Commonwealth, of course. Influence Nation. The culture conversions are going to be rolling in. Truce with Russia is over. Safe to say that they're loyal, so that's good. Let's set a uh, lazy diplomat to uh, improve with our own country, own vessels. Okay. Oh, we lost the 5% from the age of absolutism, right? That's tragic. I don't care about 2,000 manpower. That means nothing to me. Manpower is monopoly money at this point. We have infinite of it, so there's literally no reason to not just go all in and use every bit that we have. I know these stacks are not ideal. I don't care. I got all these boys. Look at this. Think I care about that? No, it looks... How is the revolution looking? So it's spreading randomly over here, but... Uh, Malacca has embraced it, so if I wanted to, I could crush the revolution, but I would have to... And I could actually destroy the uh, center of revolution. But uh, I'm not too worried about it, because it's not coming my way anytime soon. So, let's get rid of the church here. Apparently, we gotta get rid of another thing. Oh, textile manufacturing. What? Get rid of the town hall. Why can I not build a building here? What are you talking about? Why will you not let me build a building? Oh, because it's being culture converted. Well, I changed my mind. The sooner we build that, the better. Well, that would make sense. I just destroyed all the buildings there for literally no reason. 
All right, so Denmark. What do you have claims on over here, Ruskies? I want all of it. All that. All this. This is mine now. Bippity boppity. All that. 14. Not bad. Might as well take a little bit more, right? Take, like, all of Finland as well. Something like that. Probably Estonia as well. Give that all to Russia. Core what he can't and give it to him. You know, no big deal. Do something like this and then get these guys over here as well. They will not cross those straits. Their war exhaustion will explode. We'll, uh, my vassals will full occupy them in the meantime. Truce with France is over when? September of 33. So we got some time. When's our truce with these guys over? March of 32. So we're actually going to attack Portugal before we attack France. Makes sense. We 100%ed France in our last war, so that's uh, not unreasonable. Yep. As we get these guys more and more occupied, they will be more willing to peace out. There we go. Obviously, I don't intend on keeping this for myself. I will be giving it all to Russia. So, Russia... I'll pay off your debt, of course. Give you all these provinces here. The ones that... Um, oh, yeah. We can actually give him all this. I bet he's got decent absolutism. Russia's usually pretty good about it. Russia's usually a good vassal when it comes to absolutism. Um... I just can't believe how many men they have in the field. And last one here. Give them Estonia. There we go. Not bad. Let's get these guys over here and uh, suppress rebels for them. And I'll wait to the new year before we take the next admin tech here. I can lose the money. I don't mind that at all. As long as I don't uh, go over, I don't particularly mind. I can intervene in a war... For Malacca. British Malacca War. Is this a. No way! Malacca. Britain is trying to uh, crush the revolution. They attacked him with the Crush the Revolution CB. Interesting. Cool. Well, I'm not going to help. I don't care. Uh, like I said, unless it like really starts coming to my land and really running rough shot through my, through my provinces, I'm not going to be too bothered by it. So we are going to go with humanist ideas, which is going to allow us, not the not that it, we really need a ton of them for that. The national unrest is fine. Tolerance of heretics, I don't care about. The years of separatism is what I want. And then uh, improved relations is nice as well. And uh, we're also gonna get a couple of uh, ideas from this, or policies, years of separatism. That's the one that I really want there. So it's extra 15 years of separatism. Makes our culture conversions go way cheaper. Uh, looks like we can build the Suez, so let's just do it. I get a lot of people that ask about it, so I will gladly build the Suez this time around. And uh, we're just going to push through this idea group. Looks like our ideas are super cheap. What the heck? All right, cool. <laughs> um, that's pretty good. So Plus, we're still gaining a decent bit of admin points. Um, Irene is not long for this world. And I think... See, I don't think we need much more admin, but I think we switch to an admin focus. That's fine. Uh-huh. Army tradition sounds good to me. I like army tradition. That gives us good generals. Keeps us closer to 100. There we go. I don't mind. Uh, let's just take this ahead of time. I I can't be bothered. Let's uh, have you guys are suppressing or protecting trade. Let's get you guys upgraded. Because, of course. And let's have my navy, which is over here, doing that. Let's get you guys over here. Grouped up. Looks like I did lose some more heavies in those last couple of fights. Um, let's put this guy over here. Andalusian. Venetian. Let's, imp let's uh, accept a couple of these guys. Because it will help us out a bit. I mean, not that we're really in a position where we need to worry about it, but, you know, it's fine. He's half off, so I might as well do it, right? Uh, you guys also can go protect trade in Genoa. And you guys can also build a couple more heavies, because obviously we're going to need to get onto Britain. So we're going to need lots of heavies. So let's actually just get rid of our galleys as well. We don't need them. Uh, 
Looks like Portugal's vassals broke free, which is funny. funny. We are well on our way to integrating these guys as well. We'll be able to attack these guys again in March of 32. So just let some time go by for that. Um, sure. We are 15 years ahead on tech with no sign of uh, stopping. Culture conversion is coming along very well. I don't understand why some of these are like super expensive. Oh, it's just taking a long time. That's all. Master of the Mint has died. Uh, let's go for National Unrest, sure. If I can prevent rebels from firing, I will. Crush the revolution against Tondo. You sons against Tondo. No way. What? What? Russia just released Finland as a vassal of mine without even asking me? As a personal union, nonetheless. Interesting. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess I'll just I'll allow it. What am I going to do? Grant integration support. What does this do? We'll change their development costs by 15% as well as our chances to inherit them by 10%. Sure. I would like to inherit them. Finland, what is this about? So there must be an event. Uh, looks like they're uh, very, very hateful towards me, which, uh, you know, is not ideal. Because once Irene dies, that means we're going to lose them. That's uh, pretty annoying. But now take a look at here. As we go here, now you can see, well, actually on the monthly tick, I bet it's going to be a lot more even. So let's see here. Lots of provinces to convert, and we will convert them eventually. It'll happen. Um, and so I'm not sure if I've actually really uh, explained in detail, but the reason why I'm converting everything to Greek is because when you form Rome, it culture converts um, all of your primary culture provinces to Roman. It becomes Roman. So that's why we're doing that. If anybody was confused as to why we were doing it, that is why. Uh-huh. Let's... um. Build production in my vassal's lands, because why not? And then build some trade power, because why not? More trade means more money coming my way, which is good. And then manufactories, why not, as well. And, uh, sure, let's build some of this as well. Then let's build, um... Where can I build? Is this my own lands? Yeah, it's my own lands. I can't build any of it for my vassals, sadly. Which obviously, you know, that would be more tempting. Because once I have one of them, I don't really need any more because I'm the production leader, right? Sure. And then... Um, get some jewelry up here for my boys. As long as I'm the leading, the leading guy, I don't care a whole lot. Which I assume we will be with this many goods produced. Holy crap. It's crazy. Very crazy, actually. Um, manpower province. In hey, check this out. 659. What? It didn't go up? Come on now. Did I get scammed? Sure. I think I just got scammed. 25% manpower. Is it... Maybe it's uh, manpower recovery? I don't know. That's disappointing. Uh, let's go with the army tradition. I like to keep my army tradition maxed out. When exactly is this over? March. Let's have these guys over here. Who do you who you ally to? France is now considered a great power. I'll be damned. Guaranteed by VJ, apparently. It's a little concerning. It's hills there. Let's get our three-star general over here. And get prepared. Yeah, we can spend some admin. It's fine. Doesn't bother me any. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no! What's going on here? Glishing succession war, huh? Glishy got pu'd by uh yeah Denmark. Seems about right. So that's annoying.
Truce with a bunch of peeps is over. So let's recall you and attack. My general died literally as I was about to attack. That is very sad. Uh, let's get the four siege general over there. And uh, we really, really, really need to make sure that these guys like me. Otherwise, we're going to lose our PU on them. So let's do a couple of things to boost them up. If we do this and then send them a gift, we're going to have them up to, uh, you know, like a minus, minus 20, which is much more manageable. As we continue to improve relations with them. So let's do something like that. And uh, that's pretty good. Catholic, Defender of the Catholic Faith is now uh, España. So let's get these guys over here. Obviously, I don't care about them in this war. Let's uh, head on over here. So their armies are now completely wiped for the most part. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. We're going to wrap this war up in the next one. Uh, my intention is to full annex all of this over here. And then, uh, obviously, you know, we're going to have to work around this war that's going on with them. But we'll figure it out. If you guys are enjoying, do make sure that you show your support. Leave a like, subscribe, all, the, all that fun stuff. If you want to support us, we do have a Patreon linked in the description and uh, a Discord as well as my Twitter. If you want to check out all those links, they're all got down there. And uh, that's all I got for you. So, this is Chewy Shu, and I will catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. A big special shout out to my top March patrons, Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, F. Jensen, Fat Man on Deck, J. Eden, M. Dressel, Tharup, Blonde Damon, Corbett, Shrinkopotamus, T. Jarden, Bargain Glad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Hamerado, J. Cutchell, N. Winkler, RJ Pilot, Stoiler, Agent Rhino, Arcus, and Airborne Animal 7. There's many more and I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you.